Hi everyone, it's Mindy with Scrap Till You Drop, and I'm here today just with a small haul and a couple of um, projects that I've been working on. Um, today I went over to Michael's. Actually, this last weekend, or this weekend, I've been working on uh, a scrapbook album for my dad. He um, had this old uh, scrapbook from when he was in Vietnam and he would uh, send pictures and newspaper articles and stuff like that home and my mom kept a scrapbook and he showed it to me a little while back and um, asked me to redo it for him because it was falling apart and you know it's it's over 40 years old and nothing they had back then was acid free or anything like that and so I, I did that for him this weekend and I finished it and I'm not going to show it because I already gave it to him and it's nothing um, really along the same lines as the stuff I normally do. I mean it's it's a I did a 12 by 12 it was all on black paper so there's nothing really um, interesting about it I guess you could say. I mean I know it's it's important to my dad and and, and that's why I did it for him um, but I'm, I'm not going to show it but what it did make me realize was that yes I do need one of these <laughs> so I went out and got it this weekend I had a, a, a 50 off coupon for Joann's but I took it to Michael's and used it there for this um, I, I was working on that album and I, typically I'm a, a glue stick kind of girl but um, I, it just there was no way that with all those pictures and things that I was going to be able to do that with um, with glue stick. Um, I just used tape, little tape runners that I've already tossed because they weren't refillable. But uh, that's what made me decide I needed to go out and get one of those. I've been resisting buying it for a long time because pretty much because I'm pretty terrible with those tape runners. I mean I always run off the edge of the page and but I, I decided it's time to start practicing. And so while I was at Michael's um, I picked up these uh, Halloween, these Recollections Halloween frames. I've been kind of wanting to make a Halloween mini. Um, and the other day when I was at the dollar store, I picked up these, these cool skeletons. So I thought I might use that for the cover. Um, but even if I don't do a Halloween album, these frames are great just for regular minis. And there's 16 pieces in here. And I think it was like $2.99 or maybe $3.99, but they were all the Halloween stuff was 40 off, so I picked that up. And then um, this is the first time I've seen the Tim Holtz gears at my Michaels, so I picked those up. Um, and yesterday I had gone to Beverly's and picked up some of the uh, Graphic 45 steampunk, steampunk debutante paper, and so I wanted some gears to go with that. I, I'm not quite sure what project I'm going to do with that paper yet, but um, I'm sure I'll figure something out. And uh, today, oh, and also I found this silver key, which was not there the last time I looked in the bins, and so I picked that up. And also some of the uh, fly note cards. Um, and then today I was going to be working on my charms for a charm swap um, that Cindy SMS is putting on on her blog. And um, so I went over to Joann's to get some beads that I had. I didn't have enough of them to make the charms. So I went over there to get some more, and they didn't have any of the beads that I wanted. So I had to rethink my, my charms, which I'll show you in a minute here. But while I was there, I, um, their wood-mounted stamps were 30% off, and I've had my eye on this stamp for a long time. I just love the stamp. It's really just a cool tree. So then I came home and had to figure out what to do for charms and uh, just sat down, started looking through my stuff and remembered that I had these crystals. And if you've watched uh, one of my prior videos where I showed a mini I made, um, there's a crystal on there. And um, these crystals actually came from um, an Ikea chandelier that my daughter had in her room and when we moved she didn't have any use for it, and, and so I wasn't going to let all those crystals go to waste, so I took all the crystals off. And then there's this uh, bead here. I, I don't even know how to describe it, but I found them at Joann's. And then there's uh, two silver spacers, 
and there's a glass, a pink glass bead in the center of the spacers, and those are the same beads that I used on my stick pens for the, the October stick pen swap. And then at the top is a pink Swar Swarovski, however you say it, I can never say that word right, crystal at the top, and then there's a lobster claw clasp. And so that's my charm, and I, I just have to figure out how, maybe you can see it better if it's up against something. There we go. So I just have to figure out a way to present it now. And then uh, another thing I worked on this weekend was um, my presentation for my flowers for the October flower swap on, um, I believe it's on the Scrap Beach. And I, I had shown, I made these, these um, brown lollipop flowers because the theme this month is chocolate. And so I was looking for a way to present them and, and what I came up with, I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see this, is this tag. And what I've done is it's an emboss resist. I uh, stamped the chandelier with Versamark and then I, I embossed it with clear embossing powder. And then once it cooled off, I um, used tea dye distress ink and distressed all around it and it makes the image pop out. And then I also distressed the back and just added some, some fibers. So that's how I'm going to be presenting that. And then while I was at Michael's, um, you know, just the other day I posted the video on my, my stick pins. And while I was at Michael's, I found these, um, these breast cancer bracelets. And they, they say different things on them. This one says peace, love, cure. And I think a lot of the other ones I got say uh, sisters in arms or something like that. But I got one for each person um, that I'm partnered with. So I'll be including that in with the, uh, with the pens. And I think that's about it. I started a new project today. It's, uh, it's a gatefold album made out of um, six by nine envelopes. And I think the person that on YouTube, and, and see it's just in the preliminary stages here, um, the, I, I believe the video on YouTube that I got it from, I think her, um, her name is uh, Scraps of My Life or something like that. But when I get this completed and show it to you, I'll, I'll put her name in the, in the bottom so that you know where you can uh, find that because I don't have it handy because every time <laughs> I go to make a video, I forget to write down if I'm going to say somebody's name or something. and So I apologize for that. But... Uh, that's about all I have for today, so thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.